you wished upon a star. Now we want you to share with us our latest and greatest dream. Disneyland. Just go to Action Park, there's no other park like it. Six Flags Great Adventure. It's not a world away. Paramount's Kings Island. We will officially open Universal Studios Florida. Hello, I'm Michael Eisner. Now, here is your host. Hi, my name is Kevin Perger, and welcome back to the Defunct I Am podcast. Today, I am joined by a very special guest, Zach Ryder. Zach, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me, bro. This is a... This is finally happening, I think, because you've been on Twitter for quite a while. The first time you uh, you tweeted at me about something defunct land, my feed just went nuts. <laughs> so, like, Good thing you're Zach right. watches defunct land. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I'm, I'm um, a big fan of the uh, the YouTube series for sure. Yeah, thank. I mean, thank you. And so I, I saw you tweeting about it, and I was like, oh my gosh! And so um, anytime there's like a, a blue check mark by someone's name, I'm like, all right, I'm reading this tweet. Um, <laughs> But then I saw who like who it was because I people were posting on my Reddit like, oh my gosh, my two worlds are colliding, um, you know, wrestling and extinct theme park rides, right, right? Which is which is nuts. There's so many, uh, there's so much overlap in those two things. Um, so do you just want to talk a little bit about yourself and what what you do? I am Zach Ryder, WWE superstar. Uh, I'm a professional wrestler. Been wrestling for almost 15 years. Um, and I love theme parks. <laughs> there we go. The, and uh, so what is your favorite theme park then? Ooh, my favorite. That's, see, that's a tricky question. Are we talking like for like a one day experience? Are we talking for like a whole week? What are we talking about here? I like you, Zach. This is perfect. <laughs> um, <laughs> let, let's just do, you get one day. Where are you going? One day. Ah, I might have to go to Disneyland one day. Okay, that's fair. There is a. Those attractions, there's just so much to do in that one park. Right. So that's, a, that's a good answer. A good mixture of everything. The the old school rides, some some thrill stuff. Um, I would have to pick Disneyland. But like you can't go to Disneyland for a week, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Like Oh yeah, no. I mean unless you know, tops. Two days tops. There's not even enough restaurants to feed you for a week. Which I'm, I I'm all about the meals, you know. I gotta get my meals in. That's a that's a big thing when I go to the parks. Yeah, I mean, and I mean, do, do we agree that Disney World has way better meals? Disney World, yes. Well, I think only because it's so much uh, bigger and there's so much more choices. But for instance, like the quick service at Disney World is horrible compared to Disneyland. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I, the only place I get quick service is Cosmic uh, Rays. Oh, uh, come on, bro. <laughs> is that is that bad? Is does that count? I mean, oh, I have terrible horrible, taste. So. Horrible. <laughs> I mean, that is the spot to go. Trust me, I've, I've had a burger or chicken fingers from there many times in my life, but it is garbage compared to, I think it's called Galactic Grill in uh, Disneyland. Yeah. Their burgers are like phenomenal. Uh, well, maybe you can help me help explain this for me. There seems to be a overlap in, as I was mentioning earlier, in wrestling, WWE fans and theme park fans, um, even Cody Rhodes um, on Twitter uh has shouted me out a few times and he's you know talks about the parks what is Cody and I go to the theme parks together all the time (laughs) I mean yeah so what I mean but what is that overlap what do you think it's something common there's a common interest or you just think it's completely coincidental I think it's coincidental because there are some people who you know fellow superstars who look at me like how do you go to Disney World like every month and like they don't get it you know what I'm saying like right I I live in Orlando now I'm an annual pass holder I'm not there from from opening to close in the heat wait on the lines, you know, with all the people all day. You know, I go for a couple hours here, a couple hours there. I know how to work the My Disney Experience app, you know, work the system. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? So, like, when I go, I'm having fun. I'm in and out. Uh, And if I do want to spend the day there, I know how to do it correctly. I'm not sitting there, like, on these lines. I'm such a, like, a Disney snob, like, at this point, being an annual pass holder. Like, if it's a half-hour line, I won't wait on it. Like, I just won't do it. I feel that completely. There's ways to, to, to work the system. Like I, I just, I feel bad for the people who don't know how to do it. Yeah. There, every time I hear someone complaining, like, Oh, there's, you want to go wait in lines all day. Like the app is designed to where if everyone used it, you wouldn't be waiting in lines all day. Right. So like I, I went to Disney world a couple of times as a kid, loved it. You know what I'm saying? And it wasn't until maybe like four or five years ago, I went with my girlfriend at the time. And I just like, I'm like, there's gotta be a better way. You know what I'm saying? And that's when I got hooked on all the podcasts and all the websites and all the YouTube videos. 
And now, like, I guess I'm borderline obsessed. <laughs> There's just so much there. And the, and what I try to explain to people is, you know, you, no one ever, and if someone's like, I'm really into movies. I love learning all about how movies are made in the movie making process. Like, that's not weird. But for some reason, theme parks are being like, you like that? I'm like, well, it's the same thing, just a different medium. Exactly. There's so much information. So, like, there's so much to be obsessed about. Right. And that's why I love your, your YouTube series to, to, you know, to, to brush up on the old rides that I remember as a kid or learn about rides I never went on. That stuff is what fascinates me. Yeah. That's, I mean, uh, likewise, of course, it's just, I mean, just the, the, the fact that it's not there anymore. And th- even when you ride a ride that used to be there, that there's that vibe. Um, like if you ride a ride that's been renovated into something else, sure, it's just, it's just so, so such a weird feeling. I, I, I personally love it. Um, but the, uh, so this might be a bit stereotypical, but for some reason, my mind loves the juxtaposition. I mean, you are a, a strong guy. Like you, <laughs> you are like ripped. And so something just, I, every time I see, you know, you or Cody or someone on t- a Twitter that is a WWE fan, um, talking about the theme, the theme parks, um, which of course I love, I just, in my brain, it's just you, you know, benching like 12,000 pounds <laughs> down and be like, all right, let's go ride Dumbo the flying elephant. <laughs> like, I, I just, I don't know. I love that. Uh, I love that juxtaposition because it's, it's just so interesting. I mean, it just shows that it can really be anyone can love these parks. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're great. I mean, it takes you, uh, it's like an escape from reality. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's so much fun. And if you do it right, it's even better. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yeah. And, um, and so, so you have, did you say you will go to the parks with Cody or you have? Uh, yeah, we go, we go like at least once a year, we make like a, like a joint trip or we meet up somewhere, whether it be like Universal Studios in, um, in Orlando, or we'll go to Disneyland. Yeah, we always make like a trip of it. That's so cool. Okay, so we're gonna um, go into a little bit here. In, in, a, in a bit, we're gonna go into our, I guess, our own smackdown of sorts. Oh, boy. Um, of going head to head on some ideas. Um, but I, I'm already... I'm already getting my, I can feel in my stomach. It's I'm getting like the fighting words are already coming out. Um, <laughs> good thing. This isn't like an in-person thing. <laughs> because right, right. The, um, cause I, I think I tweeted, um, you, you tweeted something about the carousel of progress and I was like, raises fists, lowers fists. <laughs> like, no. Yeah, and oof. <laughs> the, um, I, I, I will uh, body slam you with my words. Yeah. Carousel progress sucks, man. It's horrible. <laughs> Well, hold on. We're not to that segment yet, and you're already <laughs> – you just want to jump right into it. Um, yeah, sorry. <laughs> so let's, let's, do, let's do a little bit about Disney right now. I mean, I know we, lo- we love all theme parks, but what is your favorite Disney World park out of the four? Um, I would have to say uh, Hollywood Studios. And I know right now it's going through a lot of renovations. Right now it's kind of empty. Right. But um, I just always loved it. I was, I always loved, you know, Tower of Terror is my all time favorite attraction, you know, from, from the theming, the queue, just looking at it from, you know, from a distance of walking up to it, the actual ride itself, uh, the gift shop. I just love it all, you know? So I love that ride. I love a big Star Wars fan. So obviously with uh, Galaxy's Edge coming, it's going to be huge, but even just Star Tours, I'm a big fan of Star Tours. Um, I just, I just love that park. As a kid, I loved the Honey, I Shrunk the Kids uh, playground or whatever it was called, you know? Yeah. Um, and now it's got like the Toy Story. It's got Aerosmith. I, I, that's my favorite park. And I think in a couple of years, a lot of people are going to have the same opinion. Yeah, no no kidding. The uh, With Star Wars Land, I mean, you're not going to be able to get in there. <laughs> like the, it's crazy. It's, there, there is no app to be able to navigate those lines right. when it opens. It's going to be nuts for sure. But I, it's going to be awesome, hopefully. Um, so let's say at, um, well, we know that in California adventure, that tower of terror was renovated into guardians of the galaxy mission breakout. Right. And at first I was totally against it. Mm -hmm. Like, how can you get rid of this ride? Um, but I've been on the guardians of the galaxy, ride. It's, they did a good job. And I would say it's better than the tower of terror. That was that Disneyland. I would agree with that. I still, I still prefer the Disney world tower of terror. Way better. Totally different. Yeah, but the uh, I I do love the 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 energy that that first part before it shoots you up does with you know Rocket putting in the tape recorder or the wow. uh, the Walkman. Sure. That energy was like the first time I wrote it, I was like, oh, chills. Not just because I'm flying up into the air, but also because good storytelling. Um, but yeah, that I was genuinely surprised. Now I don't think they should change it here in Florida. 
no no way come on <laughs> okay so we, at least we agree on that what about right like I, I'm, I'm very nostalgic when it comes to certain things and certain things i'm like get 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 it out of here we'll talk about that in a bit <laughs> let's let's talk about hollywood studios and the great movie ride were you like get it out of here or you know what like i was to be honest you know it's it's another one it's, it's there's some classic uh, moments in there, you know, like the alien or like Mary Poppins or Wizard of Oz. I liked it, you know, but it was just like, come on, dude. Like, it's time to go. It, they didn't update it. If you're going to update it every once in a while, you know, then I'm cool with it. But it's the same old ride. Like those I, – I went on that ride when I was a kid, maybe like, I don't, I don't know, eight years old. And like it hasn't changed since then. I'm 33. <laughs> There's no way a kid going on it now has any idea what's going on. Uh, okay, I will give you that it did need a renovation really bad. Um, right. I don't know if changing it to a Mickey and Minnie run, Runaway Railway was the answer. Well, we'll see. We'll see when it's when it's finished, right? Yeah, I'm sure it'll be. I'm sure it'll be good. But I'm just. I was just disappointed that. I mean, just because it's like it's the centerpiece of the park. I mean, but the, but it, once we talk about Epcot, you'd probably be willing to get rid of Spaceship Earth, right? I mean, <laughs> I love I love the big the ball. I'll take my picture in front of it, but the ride inside, woof. Needs to go. Oh man! So, but you like Pirates of the Caribbean at Disneyland, right? Uh, uh, not... <laughs> no way! Get out! I'm gonna kick you. I'm gonna kick. No, I'm gonna kick you off this pot. Not like literally, but kick you off. I never really been a fan, even as a little kid, been a fan of Pirates of the Caribbean. Now it's way better at Disneyland. It's like seven minutes longer, or something like that. I'll give you that. But to me, it's just so boring. <laughs> what? There's, I, guess, I, I guess there's like people talk about like the story. I, I must not be very intelligent because I don't get any story out of it. I'm just watching. I'm like, what is going on here? The, like, I mean, this. The, I, I understand what you mean. It's not like it's it's not a compelling story, right? It, it's literally pirates. You like you dip down out of New Orleans, pirates destroy a town, and then you dip up into New Orleans. Like it's it's it, again. You're right. It's not complete, but just the. Never mind. This is too early for this. Well, I I'm not saying. I, but hold on. Let me let me let me say. I am not saying they should get rid of it. It's iconic. That that ride has to stay. Uh, Whether I enjoy it or not, I appreciate it for what it is, and I still go on it. You know, I still you know I still go on it every once in a while. Um, when I go to Disneyland, I have to go on it. Right. It's an iconic ride. You got to do it. But I'm not necessarily a huge fan of it. But I appreciate it. Okay. Here's a here's another question, and keep in mind there is a wrong answer to this. Okay. Um, haunted Mansion. Love the Haunted Mansion. Thank gosh. Okay. Uh, that was gonna be the last straw. <laughs> um, huge Haunted Mansion fan. Um, again, that's one of those rides that so iconic, and then you know you see it from the the, the especially the Disney World version. You, you know you see it from a distance, and you walk in the queue and everything. Just an iconic ride. I love it. Um, I do wish the Disney World version had that Nightmare Before Christmas overlay that Disneyland one has. I don't know why they don't do it. Um, it's great. You got to keep the Haunted Mansion. Yeah, the Haunted Mansion is good. Um, I mean, it's, I love the Haunted Mansion. Um, so let me think. With Hollywood Studios, we covered pretty much. Well, have you been to, you, you're an annual pass holder. Have you been to Toy Story Land? I have. As a matter of fact, um, I got a little insider tip that it might soft open the day before it really opened. So I went and I hung out and it was just a rainy, horrible day. I'm like, ah, oh, they're not going to do it. And uh, all of a sudden I just heard like people screaming, <laughs> like, like someone was getting shot. But no, they were just opening the uh, opening the entrance to Toy Story Land. And uh, I did it. It was great. Maybe, maybe I enjoyed it very much because I got the old Slinky Dog dash like twice in a row. Like, didn't re- you know, but it was fun. I liked it. Yeah, well, can you? Kind of, I mean, I haven't been there yet because I just haven't. Can right. you? Can you? Um, take me through like so. There's three attractions. One was there before, right? Right. So they 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 um the the, the queue for um midway midway mania they like put it in Toy Story Land, so it's like it looks a little different. Um, there's the the Slinky Dog coaster, which. It's 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 a, a kiddie coaster at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? But it, it's still fun, it's still cool. And then the uh, the alien, I don't even know what it's called, the swirling saucers or something like that. Um, it's like a glorified like teacup ride, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't think I'll, I don't think I'll ever go on it again. <laughs> right. But I get it, it, this, these theme parks. I guess 
for the most part, are for children and families. So I get it. This this Toy Story Land for the kids and the families. We wait a year. Star Wars Land. That's that's for me. Yeah, I mean, they they are for families. But of the one of the parks, Epcot and Hollywood Studios have always been the ones for me that I've been like, this is more for less for kids, more for families. You know what I mean? Right. Right. It's it's just especially. I mean, Epcot is is like old people. Um, which I love, but the, <laughs> but uh, Hollywood Studios was always a little bit more like if you want the bigger rides, like the more you know adrenaline, um, thrill junkie rides, right? Uh, you got, I mean, the in my opinion, the best one of the best rides at Disney World is um, Rock and Roller Coaster. Agreed. You, For sure, I love it. It's, I mean, again, another example of just add rock music to your thrill ride and it will give it the perfect energy like they did at the Mission Breakout. Because, I mean, it's a really pretty standard indoor coaster. I mean, it is, it's a, it's a good one. And the, that launch at the beginning is great. But just that, the Aerosmith and all that stuff is just, it's perfect. So like, I'm a huge fan of that ride, fan of Aerosmith, but that ride is so outdated. What like, about it is outdated? It's in the dark. <laughs> Aerosmith. There you go. Oh, okay. Well, that's fair. <laughs> well, what are you? What are you gonna do? The, uh, when, when did the ride come out like ninety six, something like that. Ninety six. Yeah, yeah. It was. It was bad. Aerosmith was, done, Aerosmith was done then. Yeah, I know. They they'd already released um that their last like album where they had hit. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Fair enough. But uh, yeah, then, so I'm not a huge fan of it. The Stones said no. So what are you gonna do? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, the Rolling Stones were originally supposed to do it, and then they said no, and um, and then they they were gonna have one in. They because when they were opening California Adventure, they were like, "Oh no, we don't have any rides for this park that we're already building. Um, let's uh, let's add Rock and Roller Coaster." And I think they were getting like no doubt to do it, mm. and uh, it was like a West Coast one. And then of course the one in it's also Aerosmith, I believe. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's in Paris with a, another similar situation with Walt Disney Studios Park, where they were like, "We don't have any rides, and we're opening the park. Let's throw that one in there." But that one is interesting. So do you like the the giant figurines in there? The like the the dark light? Yeah, I mean it is what it is, you know. Like it's I, I grew up kind of with that ride, so I loved it as a kid, and now like I, I love it for nostalgic purposes. And I I think the ride actually holds up. You know, it's still like a thrilling ride, it's still cool. Yes, is the black light those things like a little dated? Sure. But it still holds up. Yeah, the one in Paris is just uh just strobe lights. Uh, um, gotcha. but apparently it's like an amazing light show i don't know it's supposed to be like you're at a rock concert i don't know i think the aerosmith vibe for me just kind of is nice because i don't know what you would update it to where it wouldn't seem like a terrible decision i mean what other band do you think could exactly like fallout boy or something like come <laughs> yeah. On. yeah with a uh, sugar we're going down swinging plane right. as you're right yeah. yeah there's not there 21 pilots i guess um I mean, it is <laughs> the um yeah there's nothing really you could do at that point but uh it does give me that old hollywood vibe which i love like i mean it's not that old but i guess when they were really popular it was old um right but it's just i, I don't know i like that vibe and then tower of terror of course is great um and then the rest of the park right now is just shows oh you can't forget about the uh the muppets oh well yeah which is has to stay Yes, thank you. Okay, great. It is it's, such it's a so good. so bad. It's good. It's so bad. It's good. Get out of here. So bad. It's. Good. I love it. I do it every time. You know, I loved it as a kid, but now as an adult, I appreciate it even more. And um, I feel better when I'm in there because it's always empty. Um, actually, the last time I was at Hollywood Studios, it was raining outside, so everyone was like running into Muppet Vision, and the theater was packed. It felt like it was like the mid '90s again. Yeah. Well. But but you like the Muppets legitimately, right? I, I do like the Muppets. Okay. okay, good, good. I mean, the uh, the the there are parts of that attraction that, like the Statler and Waldorf, um, Waldorf, their their animatronics up there, those are pretty bad. Yeah, I, I actually I don't mind them to be honest. Really, I mean, I guess I've just seen them up close, and it. I mean, I think you can they could update them. I mean, they are puppets, so in real yeah. in in quote unquote real life, there are only like one motion of an animatronic you really need um it's not like you're animating a face um so what do you think about animal kingdom um that that was never one of my favorite parks to be honest um yeah 
it's got the new Pandora, which is cool. You know, I'm not against Pandora. People are, you know, they were flipping out like this has nothing to do with Animal Kingdom. Like, who cares? The the park needs some rides. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, I know. I get that. Like Everest, love Everest. Dinosaur needs to go, in my opinion. Sucks. Uh, I don't know if it's just me, but I thought it was like way more intense and and, and better when it first um came to the park but i feel now like it's it's just like slower or like there's it's so much in the dark like i don't know if like some of the animatronics like stop working they just like blacked out the whole ride it just doesn't feel the same yeah they did they did do some changes and after it opened i think about a year after it opened so yeah that, that I, did I happen wish, i wish they would bring in indiana jones because it's the same ride track i believe yes um and I've heard rumors about that, but I don't know if that would make sense in, in 2018 to bring in Indiana Jones. Well, we are getting Indiana Jones 5 Ooh, um, in 2021 because, I mean, we just have to at this point, right? Um, with Harrison Ford? Yeah, with Harrison, with old Harrison Ford. Oh, boy. It's going to be his last Indiana Jones film. I, don't, I wonder how much they paid him to get him to do that. Yeah, I mean, I hope it's better than the last one. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Um. So, yeah, no, Animal Kingdom has never, I just, I don't know, like, if I want to go to a zoo, I'm going to go to a zoo, but I'm at Disney World, so I don't really care to go to their version of a zoo kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, I could go there for a couple hours, like, I couldn't imagine spending an entire day there. Um, There's really not much to do. You know, they got the safari, um, what else is there (laughs) that we haven't talked about? Uh, The Bugs Life show, which I don't mind, actually. Um. The Lion King show, which is pretty cool, but I'm not really a show guy. Yeah, um, I'm the the all the shows. I think they also have Finding Nemo the musical, right? Oh, uh, that's right. I've never seen that. Actually. Yeah, I haven't seen it either. It's just uh, those are always like we need capacity. We need to get crowds somewhere. Can everyone come in real quick to the show? Right. Um, I mean, some of them are really good. I remember they used to have Tarzan Rocks. You ever hear of that one? Ooh, I'm not sure if I've seen that one. No. It is weird. <laughs> it, it is like they have a Phil Collins band in the corner singing all the songs from the movie. And they just have a bunch of trapeze artists on stage doing stunts. That's that's doesn't sound like something I'd be into. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just for the experience, I would do it. I mean, in theory, it doesn't sound fun, but just how weird it ended up being. Yeah. So anyways, um, let me think. So, yeah, well, we're getting towards uh, ter- the... Uh, debate territory with epcot i'm trying to avoid it all i can but before we do that um universal studios what are your thoughts on that love it what do you love it more than disney i would say that but i was definitely um like a way more of a disney fan than universal but over the past couple of years because uh, i moved to orlando almost two years ago so i've been going to the parks a lot um I just feel like Universal, like it, it's updating with the times now. Yes, they are getting rid of. They don't give a, a damn about nostalgia. They, they don't give a damn about history. Back to the Future, done. You know, they have the the, the poor DeLorean is is it's next to like some bushes and a taco stand. You know what I'm saying? Where in my mind it should be like in the middle, like with all these like spotlights on it. But but that's just me, and I understand like they got to change with the times. But uh, I think they're really forcing Disney to step up their game. I mean, all the Harry Potter stuff, incredible. You cannot deny like that Diagon Alley is the best theme thing that I've ever seen. So I've never been to any other theme park outside the U.S., but I'm talking just all the Disneys and all the Universals in the U.S. Like Diagon Alley is the number one, in my opinion. Yes, I, I agree. The I, OK, so here's my my, like, I guess, hot take um, on this is I don't like the rides in Harry Potter in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Hmm. But I love Harry Potter. The Wizard. I love the world. Like I, butterbeer is delicious. It is so good. Do you like butterbeer? I don't know. What? <laughs> I like what? the wizard's bruise. I'll tell you that. The, you, you wait. You like what? The wizard bruise. The wizard bruise. Okay, I thought you were gonna say with Lef- with Lef- bruise uh, <laughs> from uh from the Magic Kingdom's New Fantasy Land. <laughs> um, I was like, okay, you you like apple cider? Um, no, but the uh, I I love the aesthetic i love walking through it i like the cues almost more than the rides the rides are like eh, what's whatever i um, actually really enjoy the um the rides too. <laughs> really which which one do you like more i like the escape from gringotts way more yeah i i 
I agree. I like the ride system of the other one. Oh, what is it called? I can't even remember. Forbidden Journey. But, yeah, Forbidden Journey. I like the ride system. I just don't think it was implemented in the best way. I mean, I know they haven't used it a ton. Um, but I agree the escape. I just, my only wish is that they would have just gone full on indoor roller coaster. Right. I, I actually like that. It's a mixture of, of everything. Yeah, no, I, I just want more. I like, I just well, more, I mean, there is more a, coaster. There is a new coaster coming, a new Potter coaster coming. True. Yeah. So there is, but they got, I mean, they did get rid of dragon challenge. So it's kind oh, of a needed to go. <laughs> what's that? Well, yes, it did. Um, I once, will give you that. Once they stopped dueling dragons, what, what was the point? Yeah, this is just dragons. Uh, but I I think once you get rid of, I mean, you get rid of that coaster and replace it with a different coaster, I'll be interested to see. Um, but what, here's my prediction is that when we get into this discussion, Epcot with Guardians of the Galaxy, that new roller coaster, right. that is going to do basically the same thing that Forbidden, Jer- not Forbidden, Escape from Green Gods did. Right. But it's going to go full on coaster and then also have those big elaborate show scenes too. Maybe. So I think that's that's where we're going to get that because I could totally – because have you seen the cars, the, the prototypes? I have not, no. I th- They look like – well, first of all, they are elevated. So imagine a normal roller coaster and just let allow the wheels to stay on the track, but you elevate where you're sitting. Okay. So it's like you're, you're in a high top. Like you're sitting on a bar stool on a coaster. Okay, gotcha. um, so you can't see the track as much. Gotcha. Um, so it feels like you're flying, I guess. And then the other thing is, I, I my prediction, and it looks, it, what, what it looks like is they have the ability to turn. So, like, think Omnimover, um, where it turns towards where whatever you're supposed to be looking at. That's pretty cool. That would be cool. I don't know if that's true. That's just what they look like. But I, uh, I, I so I think the only reason I don't like uh, Escape from Green Gods is because I'm like, come on, just just go full on coaster. I just want, I just want to be thrown into like you know the harry potter actual green guts i want to be able to look around and see the that nasty cave and go in and out of it rather than you know just kind of in the dark but that's just me yeah i was never a harry potter fan before going to the these these parks really so they these got you into that got me into it which i i think says a lot no that does and are are you also really into avatar now i well that i am not <laughs> But thing, I'm not that into uh, Pandora, like the the land. So, what do you? What are your opinions on that? Do you like the rides? Okay, so I went last year when it when it first opened, and I loved uh, Flight of Passage. I thought it was like the best theme park ride ever at the time. And then that the boat, what's the other thing called? The you know that stupid boat ride they have, the Navi River Journey. Well, I thought it sucked. I'm like, this sucks. But then I went, <laughs> I went like a year later. My opinions kind of like flip flopped where I appreciated the boat ride a little more because I already had these low expectations, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And Flight of Passage, it was like, eh, it's, it's, it's okay, but it's not. it didn't blow me away like it did the first time. Yeah, I, I, I had it really hyped. Like, they were like, this is the pinnacle of theme park rides. This is, this like, this is going to make you emotional. And I got on it, and then I got off, and I was like, what? <laughs> I mean, like it was Soren. It was Pandoran. It was Soren over Pandora. Oh, way better than Soren. Come on. Well, I mean, it's better, but it's the same idea. Yeah, a little um, bit. You the the only the cool part is you do get to ride it like a like you're riding the thing. And I think there's some thrill to it as well. There is a little more. There's no thrill in Soren. Come on. Well, that's yes, but that's not the point of Soren. Right. It's, the, it's supposed to be like a commercial commercial airline. Do you? And that'd be like you're on an actual airplane and then the pilot's like, all right, we're going to do a few swoops down to see these elephants. Right, right. The, um, yeah, but the, the sore and the, it only, if you're not sitting like the exact center that everything is curved and now that's how I view the ride every time I'm on it and it makes me hate it. Okay. Yeah. That, that does. It's like it, the, Eiffel, it, the Eiffel Tower is not straight. It's like slanted, curved and that it like ruins it for me. That, yeah, that is unfortunate. Because that's true, especially the California Adventure one. And I haven't gone on the Epcot one soon enough. But if you look, just try not to focus on what's being projected. Try to focus on what it's being projected onto. And you will notice tiles rather than a like a smooth dome orb kind of thing. Oh, right. you'll, you'll be able to see the tiles and then it just totally takes you out of it. I hate that. I hate that. Um, 
so well we are i think we're into it i think it's time to go to our uh to our smackdown um i need an elaborate announcer i i just feel as though i mean this is, I, I you know i try to theme all my videos and to something um relating to or a movie that reflects or something of the sort um and i was like this is just if this was a if this was a video i mean i would go way too far with the wwe theming um <laughs> <laughs> like the amount i've already restraining myself from all of the uh all of the flares and all of the things i could add is is impressive so um but if if this is our big smackdown um round one let's start off with the carousel of progress I'm going to let you give me your opinion and I'm not going to, I'm not going to interject, but I will be biting my tongue super hard. So just go ahead. Explain yourself. I get it. It's, it's a part of history. You know, it's, it's one of the original rides, I believe, you know, from Disneyland transferred over. Um, but at the end of the day, it, it doesn't hold up. It sucks. It's not, I don't think it's entertaining. Definitely not thrilling. If you need a nap, I recommend going on it. Um, last year, my parents came down. They wanted to go. My mom wanted to go on it. I'm like, all right, I'll try it out. It was as bad as I remembered, if not worse. And I ended up falling asleep because it was so bad. And I think you did. You I don't know if we did this on Twitter or over Twitter direct message. You said something like, "Keep it and make it a Walt Disney World Resort hotel," because I only sleep in it. <laughs> and now, and you said that to me, and I was like, you know, I really disagree with that. Well, that was a really good. That was a, that was a good thing to say. <laughs> like that was that was funny. Um, I, I I just don't like. What is it? You know what I'm saying? Like, what? Okay, what? <laughs> okay. Hold up. Um, I will I will agree. Okay, here's here's where that I think the compromise will be found in this argument. Um, is that I don't think they should get rid of it. I think they should move it again. Um move it to the Walt Disney museum. I, I'm fine with that. Cool. Like the only thing is you probably can't build that giant show, but I think you could easily move those animatronics, just sit them down, have them run the same loop they have for the past 60 years, um, 50 years, no 60 years. Holy cow. That ride is old. It's about to be 60 years, 50, about to be 50 years. Yeah, you're right. It's old, but the point is 60 years. I'm so confused. Um, the point, I think that, okay it is it's outdated first of all it's it does need to be changed that last scene is embarrassing do you know what i'm talking about um kind of yeah it's just it's not i get it like carries all progress but it like stops you know what i'm saying like it doesn't continue to where we are today well it's the yeah it's the house of the future and it's but that but the house of the it was like the house of 2000 it was made in 1990 something So it is now in, we're now in 2018 and it's not interesting. Like I find the first three um, scenes interesting enough because because they're like, okay, I mean, the him acting impressed at the stupid technology they have. I'm like, okay, this is, this is charming. And I, I go in there just to watch the elderly people that are in there. (laughs) <laughs> um, in in their rascal scooters and I, and they're because they're they're just having the time of their life man i don't want to take that away from them <laughs> they love it like when he when he when uh when i think john right he he just he has his pipe and he's just like and we just got e- something called electricity in all of our home and <laughs> all these old people are like remember or i don't know right um, they weren't alive but the point is they uh i the nostalgic value alone probably doesn't warrant it not changing but i don't know if it should be removed <laughs> um i feel like tomorrowland as a whole needs a big renovation it totally does well it doesn't know what it is right it has the when you walk into it it's like pixar land um with you know you got monsters inc and buzz lightyear and um there's right now stitch's great escape but it's rumored that it's going to be wreck it ralph it's rumored that it might be something incredibles or that was just a rob's idea on twitter i just i it's so you walk in it's like oh this is a cartoony technology future and then you keep walking and now it's kind of old 70s future yeah it's it's weird the uh what do you think about space mountain disneyland versus disney world disneyland blows it away yeah it does you're right it's incredible um i just went to disneyland this past february 
And I'm like, I couldn't believe how much better it was than the Disney World version. Like, night and day. You can't see anything in the Disneyland version. It It, it is so dark in there. It's so smooth. I feel like it goes a little faster. Um, it's just, they updated it, you know, like, it's just way better. Yeah, no, it is so, I, it is so much better. It's, it's ridiculous how much better it is. It really is. Um, don't get me wrong, I still love the, you know, the original one at Magic Kingdom, but it's not the same. I just feel like if they could just do something with that, I mean, because think about how much bigger the one at Magic Kingdom is. Right. It's so big. It, it has two full tracks in there. Could you not just, because no one like, okay, so you know me, you know my show. I'm the one that's like, don't change anything ever. Don't get rid of anything. And because I, I hold on to stories and different things, I have no emotional connection to the track layout of Space Mountain. Exactly. Change it. It doesn't matter. No one will notice. And those that do will applaud you because it's the oldest coaster in Florida. <laughs> and it's uh, or the oldest. I don't know which exactly what it is. It's so old. You all they need to do is take out the two tracks, use that giant amount of space for one big smooth Disneyland coaster. Um, and I think it wouldn't even reduce capacity that much because the one in Disneyland has uh, dual seating, like two per right. row. And the one in Disney World is a uh, tandem or one one row. And what's going to happen when that Tron coaster comes, like right next to it, it's going to make Space Mountain look not only dated, but like a, like a kiddie ride. Yeah. It's going to look like a carnival ride compared to this this new coaster. Can you believe that they're going to put that Tron coaster in there? It's unbelievable. I, I'm, I, all, I'm not against it. I think Magic Kingdom desperately needs some new stuff. Matt, yes. Well, the thing that it definitely doesn't need is it doesn't need to renovate stuff. It needs to expand, which I'm, I applaud them for expanding because that is the most visited theme park in maybe the world. I know in the United States, you, it needs to be expanded. There's so much space and they're just not doing it. So I'm applauding them for expanding it, but no one in the United States cares about Tron. I've never seen Tron. <laughs> I haven't seen Tron either. Um, people in China love it. I think maybe, so, I mean, you, you've you've probably seen the ride through online, right? Yes. So I, I I have the you know an idea of what it is, but never it's a, is it a cartoon? I don't even know what it is. Is it a cartoon? Live action? I have no idea. Uh, I it's a it was a video game. No, it was live action. It was Tron, and then they did it again, and then Jeff Bridges was like young or something. I don't remember. Point being, it it I'm interested to see how it is. I I'm. I'm holding my judgment until I see it. It does look like it fits in because it has that white exterior. So it's not going to look like the most out of place thing ever. Um, it's not like a Guardians of the Galaxy roller coaster in Future World. Um, <laughs> hold on. Um, but back to the carousel progress. Would you here? I'm going to give you a couple scenarios. How about this? So you already said you'd be fine if they just moved it to the Walt Disney World Museum. Right. What about renovating it? And pretty much taking the animatronics, plussing them up, making it more even, making the story better, making uh, re-recording all the lines, like just ma- same idea, just redoing the whole thing. Or well, the problem you- with that is that they're going to have to keep doing that every couple of years. Yeah, well, maybe. What, what if they took that last scene that for some reason is in the year like 2000 and just moved it back to like 19... It, it, what about this? 1980s. People love 80s nostalgia. I would, I'd have to see it. Stranger Things kids in the background on a bicycle. Now we're talking. <laughs> a Stranger Things 80s carousel progress. Um, okay, so so you're still skeptical. That's fine. I'm just, not, I'm just not a fan of, of – I'm just not a fan of it at the end of the day. <laughs> Is it the – oh, yeah, well, you. it seems as though animatronic shows are not your favorite parts of the park. <laughs> because um, – Everything I hear and everything I'm hearing is, I mean, you were skeptical about Pirates of the Caribbean, man. That is, that, there's no more animatron. It's just animatronics. I, I have nothing against animatronics, if, but the ride has to entertain me in some way. That's fair. Here's another hypothetical. They take out the Carousel of Progress completely, leave the show building, replace it with Plectu's Fantastic Intergalactic Review. Do you know what this is? I have no idea what that is. Okay, so remember back in 
early 90s when Michael Eisner was like, Disney decade, let's do it. We're going to we're going to change. We're going to renovate everything. It's going to be beautiful. We have so much money. Thanks to Beauty and the Beast and all these Disney movies we're making. They were going to take Tomorrowland at Disneyland and make it into Tomorrowland 2055. Um, This ended up being just like rocket rods, bronze, space mountain, like all that nasty, all that nasty stuff. But originally they were going to take alien encounter and put it in Disneyland. Um, They were going to put the timekeeper or another George Lucas circle 360 film. And then they were also going to take the carousel progress show building, which was America sings at before it closed. Um, And they were going to put in Plectus fantastic galactic um, review intergalactic review. And it was a, as so imagine you could, so picture the carousel progress now and then picture a giant UFO crashing into the side of it. It was going to be as though this alien band needs to get off earth because they've landed here. And the only way they, they need to like buy something. And so they are performing to performing their intergalactic music in order to, um, I'm all for that. That sounds great. <laughs> okay. So, so you like that. So if it's like weird alien animatronics doing like weird band stuff, you're, you're okay with it. If there's like some entertainment value to it, I'm all for it. Okay. I progress. I don't find entertaining one bit. What if we gave John an electric guitar? <laughs> um, it's it's just bad, but I, I understand it's your thing. You want to keep it, blah blah blah. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, you get the whole shtick. It's Stefan yeah, Land. You yeah, get it. I, I get where you're coming from. I just don't agree. Okay, so what? So what if I? Okay, last thing before we move on to the second round. How about this? What if I presented you a a chart of the ride capacity and like I just like if we got rid of it, here's what would happen to ride. I guess your argument is replace it with something better, right? For sure. Okay. So if, if they, if the option is close it or let it operate, what are you still leaning closure? I just think it needs to get, I, I, I do think <laughs> you're just like close it. I don't care. It can sit there for 30 years as long as it's not open. Oh, it just, it's got to get out of here. I just feel like that, that space can be used for something else. Yeah. It, okay. Fair enough. You and Rob plays agree very strongly that it needs to be changed uh, even, a nice, even a nice gift shop would be good over there with like exclusive- <laughs> <laughs> just replace it with a gift shop a nice gift shop with like some old school like merchandise you know like vintage stuff like re-release merchandise okay that would be cool oh wow now you're convincing me yeah you are good okay <laughs> let's let's move off carousel progress we're now going to go to epcot future world is getting a guardians of the galaxy roller coaster I'll let you make your argument. All right. Well, as a kid, I hated Epcot. Hated it. Like when my parents took me there, like I didn't understand why we had to go. I thought it was so boring. I didn't want to like learn things and I'm on, at Disney World, you know? I didn't care about body wars. I didn't care about like the body going through the body. <laughs> I just wanted to go on some cool rides, you know? But now as an adult, I do appreciate it more. Um, I think it helps that there's the world showcase and I can drink around the world. Yeah. Uh, but I do think it needs like some rides. Like it is at the end of the day, it is a theme park, right? So like, if you don't know the history behind Epcot and what it was supposed to be and all that, blah, 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 blah. Like if you're just going there and you're thinking you're going to Disney world, right? And you go to Epcot, like, what is this place? What is this? It has these fake countries in the back and then like, two or three okay rides. We need some, 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 something thrilling. We need Guardians of the Galaxy coaster. You know what I'm saying? I think that stuff will help not only Epcot, but help Disney World as a whole, my opinion. It will help the resort as a whole. That is not an opinion. That is a fact. Like just getting people into getting, spreading people out, right? Um, because could you imagine Disney World? I mean, it's much more popular than it was five years ago. Sure. Could you imagine Disney World right now without Pandora? What would Animal Kingdom be? Yeah. The amount of people Animal Kingdom is eating right now is just, it's so helpful to the other parks. That it's, it's, over, it's, been, it's been over a year since Pandora opened. The lines are still ridiculous. You still can't get a fast pass. I think that's proof of success, in my opinion. From a from a strictly business perspective, absolutely. Yeah. The um and, and from a guest experience perspective, right? Because if you... Because honestly, if you're going to have something eat, if you're going to make an experience, 
that in my, this is my personal opinion. If you're going to make an experience that a lot of people really aren't that excited about. So if, for example, star Wars land, everyone wants that is, it's a no brainer. Duh. Right. Make a star Wars theme park. Right. But it's also not going to be that enjoyable because when it first opens, because the crowds are going to be crazy unless they do some something very different to, to limit crowd size. Um, versus Pandora, which Pandora, the only reason people really wanted to go, it was because it's Disney and it's a new thing and the technology is cool. Right. No one was like, I love James Cameron's Avatar. It's my favorite movie of all time. I and mean, maybe a few people, but I that movie is not does not have nearly the fan base. I mean, I saw that movie once in the theater, and I think it was because like it was one of the first 3D movies, and I didn't even really enjoy it then. <laughs> yeah, it was like that back then. What was that? Two thousand nine, two like that era when 3D movies were just become like they just switched to real D, and then they just they did all the CGI. I mean, it was right. it was like a theme park attraction, honestly, rather than a movie. So, um, but but if you're gonna have something eat capacity, do that. Okay, but back to Guardians of the Galaxy roller coaster, it's just so out of place, right? It's like it's so out of place. I I I, I mean, I get what you're saying. Like, I I understand there there are people who who love their Epcot history, right? Like, I just what's out of place? Why is like Test Track allowed to be there, but not Guardians of the Galaxy? Because Test Track is you're just testing cars. I mean, the new <laughs> one's kind of Tron. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. Stop. I, <laughs> the, okay. So here's, here's the thing though, is that I can test cars in real life. The guardians, of the galaxy don't exist. And it's the future world, which is, I mean, okay. First of all, I will say that the idea for Epcot, which I think is brilliant and which I think is amazing. And they did it beautifully. It was not commercially viable for that long. Right. That was a product of the early 80s when, you know, I mean, by the 90s, even like kids, the attention span of children was so much smaller. Like you can even look at children's programming on television because I'm doing defunct TV right now a bunch. And I'm looking at the difference between children's programming in the 80s versus the 90s versus the 2000s and the stark difference in that like 10 years in between when Epcot opened and in 1992, 1993, just that decade. Children, totally different attention spans. So, yes, it can't last forever. I understand. Um, so I'm fine with it, whatever. Universe of, if you're going to get rid of anything, universe of energy, fine, <laughs> right? I don't even think I ever did that, to be honest. You would have remembered because it was like an hour. Yeah, I did. <laughs> like people were – it was – everyone was just napping. There's a video of the last ride, like ever, and someone's asleep on it. <laughs> um <laughs> This is kind of off topic, but you think they should get rid of Figment, right? No, I mean, it, it, no, I, but listen, I, I'm just, I'm just uh, okay. I, I was like, I was like, what do you mean by? That? Well, no, I, I love Figment, right? But that that ride journey into what, whatever it's called now, into imagine they, they need to get rid of the ride or fix it or do something. I'm a big Figment fan, love Figment. He needs to be in the park, but they need to fix that ride somehow. They they need to fi- they need to bring back Dreamfinder. Dream- I'm all for. It. I'm, I'm I'm all for that. Bring back Dreamfinder. No, when you said you want to get rid of Figment, I was so like, that is you know I don't. I don't know how you want me to respond to that. You you <laughs> that that is a very that's an interesting debate technique where you just put words into someone else. But like you love the Carousel Progress, we all know that. Um, no, anyways, the uh, but Guardians of the Galaxy, the the roller coaster, we can talk about that. But uh, so what I'm trying to say is, I've given up on Epcot. Like it's over. It was nice. Well, it lasted. I just want some weird stuff. Now guardians of the galaxy. If it's the first step, fine. At the end of the day, I do not want 10 years of a guardians of the galaxy roller coaster next to all of these old basic rides. Right. I want, if you're going to just change it, just change it to the Stark expo, make it all about the technology of the Marvel movies, make it your Tony Stark future world. Um, whatever I've given up. This isn't because I think it's a good idea because I want it. It's because I, I'm just, it's inevitable. Um, I don't know if you've heard this, but you can ask, I'll ask you this. What do you think about wonders of life becoming its own Wakanda? Ooh, that'd be pretty cool. I've heard that. I've heard, um, not Ant-Man. 
I've heard Ant Man rumors for um, Disney for California Adventure um, turning parts of a Bugs Land into uh, like Ant Man. That'd be pretty. <laughs> um, but the Ant Man is getting its own ride in Hong Kong. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's you'll probably see test footage pretty soon. Hopefully, actually, it'll be a while. But it's actually coming next year. It's very soon. Um, anyway, so Epcot is looking like it's going to become Marvel Land, um, except for the back, which is now Pixar Land. It's just it's so so bizarre what's going on. Why do you think it's Pixar Land? Um, no, sorry, not Pixar Land. I guess it's Disney Animation Land um, because I think after Ratatouille gets there, you'll have Ratatouille, Frozen. I mean, World Showcase is going to turn into I I imagine every single country there's going to be an IP in there. You think there's enough room for that? I don't even know if there's enough room to put rides. There's well, I I well with the what they have the World Gateway back there, right? They have an entrance now. Um, right. Back when they were originally planning, there was plenty of room. It was a swamp, just <laughs> just bulldoze the swamp, right? right. Um, but yeah, I mean, I they can make room. I, I I'd have to look actually the what's there, um, but because there's now all those hotels surrounding it, you're right. I don't know. Um, I'm all for like I, I was a big fan of putting Frozen in there. Um, okay. To be fair, I never. <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot for me to unpack right now. <laughs> I never did the original what, Maelstrom, whatever it's called. I never did that. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't imagine it being any good. <laughs> well, if you don't like Pirates of the Caribbean, I hate I hate to, hate to say it, but I don't think you're going to like Maelstrom. Right. Um, so I'm a, I'm not even a huge Frozen fan. I've seen the movie like once, but I enjoy the ride. I think it fits there. Um, at the end of the day, we're at Disney World, right? Right. Kids, kids want to see the the characters from their favorite their favorite movies. So give them a little Frozen. Yeah, I know. I get that. And Ratatouille, I'm shocked by that the, they're adding that. I, I don't know if you've ever seen a ride through of it. I've never seen a ride through or the the movie. <laughs> The the yeah no the, the the ride that they're putting in there already exists in Paris. Right, I've heard I've heard it's very good actually. Is it not? No, it's it's really cool. They uh, I mean I've not of course been to Paris to ride it, but the they use the trackless system and you've seen trackless dark rides, right? Yeah, I, I I've heard about it. Yeah, so essentially like you know how there's a rail on most dark rides that jerks you around. Right. It, the the in, your entire car is run by a computer system, and so it's really cool when you're looking down because there's no track and it's literally like it's driving just you. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. And so it, and so what that can do is it can take different paths. So um, for example, especially in the Ratatouille ride, there are multiple times where, you know, if there's four cars following a train, the first one will go to the right and the second one will go to the left and then the third one will go to the right and the fourth one will go to the left and then they'll turn and they'll face each other and they'll move through the scene and they'll come together and they'll do dances and different things. Um, huh. Just really, really an amazing ride system. It involve it, it, the Ratatouille one takes uses both uh, screens and animatronics and um, large props. And so, I mean, it really does look like a lot of fun. It'll be a perfect fit for Paris. I'm just surprised that that's what they went with. You know what I mean? Um, well, what else would go there? Be- something Beauty and the Beast. Okay. I'm All right. Fair point. I mean, because you, you, they just remade it, right? And Ratatouille is a great movie, but it's it's definitely not like your top five Pixar movies of like, as far as kids are concerned, like little kids. They're not, they're thinking okay. Toy Story. They're thinking, but with Beauty and the Beast just being remade, I'm surprised they weren't like, all right, Paris, France is turning into... Uh, we're gonna have a Beauty and the Beast dark ride through the Enchanted Castle. I'm just yeah, that would be cool actually. I, I would have actually been like, all right. I mean, again, Ratatouille. I was like, whatever. Um, I've given up. But I, th- I think that would have been also really cool. Um, well, here I, I was. I'm gonna ask you this because you seem to have a um, not distaste. I guess it is a, a slight distaste for just animatronic ride throughs that don't entertain you. I should say. <laughs> um, so, but what do you think about Ariel's Undersea Adventure? That Magic Kingdom, mm-hmm. love it. I think it's great. Okay, well there you go. So that's completely animatronics. I, I have no problem with animatronics, but like if it's outdated, like you got to update some certain yeah. things. You know that, that ride feels like it's a newer ride. The best part about that ride is it's always like a fifteen minute wait, and you just hop right on. I, I love that ride. I just it's fun. It, you, you, like the little 
when you go in under the sea and you see like the bubbles and stuff like that, like it's great. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm glad we're in agreement there. Um, so, man, I'm really trying to avoid this round three. I don't, I don't hate all animatronic rides. Well, no, I, I didn't mean to imply that. I just, uh, when, but when you start the podcast, we'll be like, we got to get rid of Pirates of the Caribbean. I'll get rid of it. But we, but, <laughs> but, but, but when you start with saying something negative about Pirates of the Caribbean, people are going to assume things. I don't know. I just said it's not my one of my favorite rides. That's but I do, I do appreciate it, and it should, it should be there forever. What's your favorite ride at Disneyland? Disneyland, Indiana Jones. Okay, well that's a, I wrote that is a one of those like. That is an experience. Um, like it is, I mean that the, the just the just the theming of the queue alone to get onto that ride. If you have a fast pass to go on Indiana Jones, it takes forever to get even yeah. through the fast pass queue. That, when I first went on that ride a couple years ago, it blew me away, and I, I couldn't figure out why that, that it wasn't in Disney World. Also, right, and I think there. are uh, you were right about dinosaur. They have been like, let's put Indiana Jones and in where dinosaurs, same track system, but uh, it's a, uh, it's interesting. I mean, I think the time it, it's over, like it's too late now. Yeah. But, um, what an incredible ride. What's your favorite ride at magic kingdom? Um, space mountain, I guess. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, I just went to magic kingdom a couple, uh, a couple weeks ago for, they had like this, this after hours event. So it was great. It was like 10 to one, uh, there was like no lines at all. I was able to just like walk on everything. Um, so like it was cool to go on rides. I usually don't go on like Peter Pan or like Winnie the Pooh, you know, like I get those rides for kids and I have no problem with those rides. Those rides have to be in the park, you know, but then there's certain things that I went on. I'm like, what is this? Like uh Astro Orbiter. I was like, this thing sucks. <laughs> yeah. Well, at the, well, to be fair, Astro Orbiter at least is elevated at Magic sure. Kingdom versus right. Um, Disneyland, which is just on the ground, that sucks. True, very true. That uh, that does suck. Um, okay, so we talked about everything. Now, round three, final round. Um, too bad there's no. Mo- I should have had a moderator because we can't. I can't just be like, clearly, I'm up two zero. There's no way you can win. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, Country Bear Jamboree. Please remember that I do have feelings. I mean. <laughs> it's it's so bad no like, it's not it is not it, bad this is the this is the final straw it's a great attraction what okay explain yourself <laughs> it's just oh my god it's so old and dated you can hear like the clicking of the animatronics okay the clicking noise like like i was just saying i went to magic kingdom for the after hours event so there was no lines or anything you could walk into any ride you wanted and i just saw this poor uh cast member in front of um Country Bear Jamboree, nobody was going in. Nobody. He was just standing there all by himself, just waiting to start a show, and nobody was coming in to watch it. Nobody wants to nobody wants to do it. Even when there's no line. There's never a line for the Country Bear Jamboree. That is an unfair scenario. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not gonna say get rid of it because what's gonna go there? You know, there's it, there, it doesn't it's not taking up that much room. You know the animatronics are not that bad. They're not that bad. Some of them are out some of them are worse than others the heads on the walls the clicking is annoying and needs to be fixed i'll give you that but like henry henry looks great um the main bear um i I don't know that you're a fan of this ride or attraction i don't know their names (laughs) you don't know zeke zeb ted and fred and a bear named tennessee um the uh i just the inappropriateness of it is so I i do like that i do like that it's kind of not very pg I'm, I, I feel like when people are going to listen to this podcast, they're going to think that I hate everything that's like old school and original. And that's, that's not the case at all. I'm very, you know, nostalgic and I love the old school stuff. But some things I think just need to be updated a bit. Right. Okay, I saw progress. Just get rid of it. <laughs> you, know, you realize it. You can't be like, everyone listening. I love old school rides. Get rid of the carousel progress. You know, right. you can't, those, those, <laughs> two, those two sentiments don't jive. Um, right. I, ugh. I get it. Look, I understand. I mean, I, I think you're wrong, but I get it. Um, well, I'm debating here. There's no right or wrong. Uh, just- uh, right. No, I, I just, I, no, but I truly think you're wrong here. <laughs> the, uh, no, no, I understand how opinions work, but this one is absolutely wrong. Um, no, I, I don't know. Every time I go to the, the, I have a few complaints about the Country Bear Jamboree. One, the chairs are uncomfortable. Yes. They're, 
the most uncomfortable chairs. They're like chairs for miniature, like miniature. I don't even know what to, what it would be, like some miniature species that can sit upright. I don't know. They're like really small. Okay. It's, it's not comfortable to take a nap in there. No, it's not. Um, I, I've done it before. I mean, the Hall of Presidents also needs just headrests, and the chairs should decline. Honestly, how awesome I would that be? I don't think I've ever done the Hall of Presidents. You, never, you go out for like a once a month, and you've never done the Hall of Presidents. Maybe, maybe like as a like little kid, like I went, but I have no memory, and I haven't gone as an adult. I have no desire. Was it's like a forty-five minute show, right? Yeah, um, I it's like twenty minutes, but I would agree that they should get rid of that. I have uh, no desire to sit. I mean, I don't really care about old presidents talking. You know, I'm not, yeah. I want to ride Space Mountain. <laughs> yeah, here's how you know it's bad. Not only am I okay that if that closes, but I it would be painful for me to do a defunct land episode on it. Like that would be a chore. That, that'd be, that would be the, that would be like me riding the ride is watching your episode. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I my ride. It's like twenty minutes. I could literally just show the ride. And I just or the the attraction because I'm like, where do I even start with that? Like, all right, they wanted to do history, and uh, like, it's so boring. Like everything about it is so boring. Um, it's kind of like one of those things of well, Walt. It was one of Walt's original ideas. Um, Walt was like, I want all the presidents together, and they're like, Hey, are you crazy? We can't afford that. <laughs> and then by the time Matt Walt Disney world was actually opening, they're like, yeah, we, we can afford it. Let's build it. Um, I mean, that's so many things. Country bridge, Jamboree, original idea from Walt couldn't build it. Uh, hall of presidents, original idea. Um, Mickey mouse review, an old ride that used to be at the magic kingdom, um, which was all the Disney characters. It was like the country bear Jamboree and the hall of presidents. Only it was all the Disney characters doing songs. Ooh, I don't know if I ever did that. Like 70 characters. They, they weren't messing around. It wasn't just like Mickey and Pluto. It was, every character you could think of there's, there's got to be videos of that online huh yeah there are and it is creepy that that if that was still open today it would be creepy hmm. um but no country bear jamboree is just one of those things that i i wish everyone could love it as much as i do but i understand if it's not if it's not your thing but it just like, trust me, like that like you love country bear jamboree like and like i think you're crazy right so like, i love like the muppets the and people think i'm crazy for like for loving that but i love the muppets too so you should also <laughs> love the country bear jamboree that's the trans uh, pro- that is the transitive property you- it's, not that I, it's not that i dislike it i just don't like it if that makes sense yeah no i understand um all right, well, that's all I have for the for the three round SmackDown because I have been, I have been smacked down. <laughs> yeah. uh, that is a uh, that's great though. I mean, I, I I do love talking about all of this, and I'm really happy that the the theme park community is growing to the point where I can interview like a WWE superstar and talk about Disney <laughs> for an hour. Like, I mean, can we just take a minute to think about how awesome that is? Um, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Can Can I now say that I have like like fought with an asterisk a wwe superstar i guess you can right yeah like with a with a with a lot of asterisks and like some subtext and like he did not actually like not physical like disney debate um yes <laughs> but this is well, this has been so awesome um we should we should have a another time where you and cody can come on and maybe i can pit you two against each other and i can moderate Ooh, we have we have some uh some different opinions as well. That would, that would be awesome. We could we should yeah. do that sometime in the future. We, awesome. we, we were we were in talks of doing a little like Disney versus Universal podcast. It just never came together. Oh, it's, sure universe, it's in the works. We'll see. Well, if if that ever happens, I'll I'll be your first subscriber, and then I will comment. <laughs> your opinions are wrong. <laughs> the <laughs> Country Bear Jamboree <laughs> is a treasure. Um, okay. Um, well. Zach, thank you so much for coming on today. It's been a real pleasure having you. Oh, thanks for having me. It was a lot of fun. And to everyone listening, thank you for listening, um, and thank you for visiting Defunct Land. Mm-hmm.